Master Arts as a career, and she will be telling us all about this. Welcome to the show, Allah. Thank you, Liz. Quite a huge, huge portfolio. How did you begin with art? Thank you very much. I um, am very pleased to be here um, and talking about arts, and I love Kenya. I'm very happy every time I come here. I, by profession and by training, an engineer. I have a degree in mechanical engineering and master's degree in technical science from Kiev University. But I always, since I was a little girl, wanted to be an artist. And when I moved to the United Kingdom from Russia 20 years ago, that's the career I decided to pursue. Um, it brings me a lot of pleasure um, as well as a chance to express my ideas and thoughts. Was it hard beginning in the UK from a whole engineering background? It's always hard. It's always hard to begin something. But once you're on the way, you meet interesting people, you learn things, and then it becomes your own. All right. So what kind of capital did you need to start off? You don't need any capital to start off. You just need, I think, a lot of passion. A lot of um, talented people. Uh, lack passion and then they will not succeed in the artist career mm -hmm. so you need to have a lot of passion and believe in yourself you need you need to have something to say uh, to the world all right but we all have something to say okay tell us more about your painting and how the journey has been over the years for mm -hmm. you well i became uh, interested in portraiture to start with and that's how I learned my living for about 10, 15 years. But then I became disillusioned with portraiture. Uh, contemporary art is incredibly interesting and lots of new things going on in contemporary art. Portraiture, I think, as a genre of um, arts, lacking behind in innovation. And so I, um, as you mentioned in your introduction, decided to set up a, a series of seminar hosted by National Portrait Gallery in London to debate uh, portraiture, where it's going <clears throat> and what's the future for genre of portraiture. That's how I began. And then gradually I decided to move away from portraiture and um, I still pa paint people. Uh, you mentioned in your introduction that I'm a figurative painter. I still love painting people, but um, they a little bit um, uh, narrative my work, I think. All right. At the moment. In terms of uh, comparisons, you've been here in Kenya, and for Kenyan artists, it's sometimes very hard for art to be appreciated as a career path. It's very hard for someone to go tell their parents, you know, I want to be an artist. And uh, when you compare in the UK and here, in terms of the revenue that people get from mm. uh, painting, what are the numbers? <clears throat> what, what I would say is this. Um, Statistics, this is the, this is the fact. Uh, I, I want to slowly probably talk more about creative industry, which is fine art and art part of it. But there's a, not only a fine art career in, in creative industry. You can pursue um, any sorts of careers. I mean, we're talking about graphic designers, film industry, fashion, um, and many more. Architecture, advertising, that's all creative industry. And in the United Kingdom, Creative industry is the second largest industry after its financial services. In the United States, creative industry generates $164 billion annually, employing 6 million people. So I think Kenya would benefit um, by, by investing into developing creative industries. And that's where your career can come into. All right. Now, what drove your interest in Kenya? And I know you have this charity. If you can tell us more about it. Yes. I came to Kenya uh, five years ago uh, painting. Uh, I had um, a dream of coming to a 